What if you're diabetic and your sugar crashes? Let's talk about diabetic ketoacidosis. Preventing diabetic ketoacidosis is so important and can be challenging unless you understand why ketoacidosis occurs. Balancing blood sugar naturally is something we talk about a lot in my hormone support group, which is free for you to join. I'll put the links down below. So why does every type 1 diabetic need to understand diabetic ketoacidosis? Because it can be very dangerous. Ketoacidosis is the condition in which your blood sugar becomes low, so low that your body must use fat for fuel. Using fat for energy creates ketones, which at high levels can be toxic to your brain. That's because ketones create an acid state in your blood, your cells, and your tissues. Most of your body functions best in a neutral pH, not too acid, not too alkaline. Your blood, for instance, must be between 6.8 and 7.2 pH. Any lower than 6.8 and you're in acidosis. High acid levels in your blood interfere with oxygen transport, so your cells do not get the oxygen they need to function. Your brain uses half your blood and your oxygen and your glucose. If you're in ketoacidosis, your brain can be starved for oxygen and glucose, leading to brain damage. Type 1 diabetics are at particularly high risk for ketoacidosis. That's because type 1 diabetics do not make their own insulin to escort glucose into their cells for energy production. They're dependent on taking insulin to meet their body's needs. If you're a type 1 diabetic and you don't eat enough or you take too much insulin, you can develop diabetic ketoacidosis. So what does a person suffering from diabetic ketoacidosis look like? They often appear drunk or intoxicated but they're not. Their brain is not getting enough oxygen and glucose. So they'll slur their words, have difficulty walking, talking, and eventually they'll pass out. They might be able to be revived by giving them a small amount of sugar, juice, table sugar, or glucose tablets. Many diabetics carry them just in case of ketoacidosis. If you suspect someone has diabetic ketoacidosis and they are conscious, Ask them if they're an insulin-dependent diabetic and give them some sugar, but do not give them liquids if they are not conscious. Call 911. Diabetics who use cannabis excessively are at a greater risk for ketoacidosis. Cannabis alters the absorption of food, making it a little hard for diabetics to balance their blood sugar and insulin. Plus, cannabis increases the appetite, and under the influence, diabetics might not use the appropriate amount of insulin. The cognitive effects of cannabis may alter diabetics' perception of hypoglycemia, making it difficult for them to know that they really need to eat or use less insulin. This puts them at a greater risk of developing diabetic ketoacidosis. Only heavy users of cannabis seem to be affected. Occasional recreational use does not seem to increase the risk of diabetic ketoacidosis. How can you avoid diabetic ketoacidosis? If you're a type 1 diabetic, you need to learn to keep your blood sugar under tight control. Take only as much insulin as your body needs to maintain tight glycemic control. Be sure to eat regular meals. Be careful of drinking alcohol without eating. Alcohol can cause hypoglycemia or very low blood sugar in type 1 diabetics, sometimes as late as 12 hours after drinking. Hypoglycemia after breakfast is common in type 1 diabetics who drink heavily the night before. Severe hypoglycemia can lead to diabetic ketoacidosis. To be very clear, diabetic ketoacidosis is not the same as ketosis induced by a keto diet, but type 1 diabetics need to beware of drastic dietary changes, so consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new diet. Now, if you're struggling with ketoacidosis, please consider supporting your hypothalamus, which helps control your blood sugar. You'll learn more about how in my Hormone Reboot training, where you'll also learn the best nutritional plan to balance all your hormones. For more great health tips, check out what I've got in store for you in the next video.